Hi everyone, welcome back to Makeup Monday. Today's video is about my ELF collection. I've got a large collection. Um, I'm starting to think I'm an ELF hoarder. <laughs> um, I just really like their makeup, especially their eyeshadows. Even though they have a lot of fallout with especially the darker colors, the eyeshadows tend to stay on for a long time till I take them off. Even if I put them on early in the day, um, they just seem to last all day long. They don't really smudge much, but it's just the fallout like in my last video. I just had lots of fallout with the dark colors right here. But you can always correct that when you're done with your makeup. Um, so I will get started and share what I've got and let you know which ones I like and which things I don't really like about the ELF products. Okay, so, so stay in tuned. this box is where I keep most of my ELF um, makeup. I got this box at work and I thought it would be perfect because I have so much, so many palettes and they're pretty big palettes so my vanity's kind of got small drawers because it's a 1920s vanity and they're really small so I was running out of room so I bought this box to keep all my palettes in mostly but I started just keeping all of my ELF products in here um, I've taken out a lot of stuff and just left the palettes in for now for the video so it'll be easier for me to show um, everything and not be scrambling in the video for everything I'm trying to find and show you guys so here we go. My palettes are in here. Um, my lovely little Disney series. They came out with the villains. Um, so my first palette is a little bit. Something got spilled on it, but let's see if I can open it. It's really most of them are shimmer. I think all, everything in this palettes a shimmer but they're really great nighttime look colors um, the only thing I don't like about the ELF palettes are that they don't really have names for their colors unless they're coming out with something like the villain series that they came out with last year they had like names for the shadows but most of their palettes they don't have numbers or colors on them so I can't really tell you what they are, but they're absolutely gorgeous. I love all their purples that they usually have in their palettes. They're nice deep plum colors and things like that. So that's that one. They all come with a little mirror like right there. Most of these palettes I've gotten where I work and I believe I have almost every palette that we've sold where I work. If I can get this one out there. This one's another nice fun time um, shade collection. I don't know what palette this one was, but I really like this fuchsia here. The lighting in here is not very great because it's nighttime now, so my lighting's not as great, but you can see how pretty and vibrant the colors are. And I have this cute little springtime one. If I can open it. I probably should have opened them all before filming so that it would be easier to get to. I can't get this one open, but this one is like a springtime colors palette. And I like the really nude colors a lot and the browns as you can see. <laughs> I've made a dent in some of them. Like I said, they don't have names on the back, so this one I believe was my first palette by ELF. And I use this one quite a lot. If I can open it. And it's got just all the colors in there. And I lo really like the speckled ones, like this green and gold one. 
and the purple and um, silver one. And they even have this really pretty, whoops, silver and dark gray one. I just have lots of fun with those because you're able to blend and make it not so dramatic. That's that one. And then I got this one around Christmas time, I think. It's just a really large one. Um, it's about the same as the one I've showed you, except it doesn't have those little speckled shadows. But I just really love the colors in this one. Especially the golds and everything down here. The greens, I think, are what caught my eye when I got this palette. And some of those purples. I just really love these palettes. I don't know if I'll ever use every color in the palette, but I'm going to try. That one's not yellow. <laughs> That one snuck in there. And then I got this one. Is all the neutrals and browns and tans and dark browns and dark, like some grays for your smoky. Those are my large palettes. I probably should have just set this camera up and just picked everything up and showed so I could swatch things, but I didn't prepare myself that way. <laughs> I'm never prepared. So next is, I'll show my little villains. Most everyone's familiar with their the villain series that they came out with last year. And this one's the um, Evil Queen, which is my favorite, I think, out of all of them. And I think this queen reminds me of Betty Davis every time I look at it. I don't know if anyone else thinks that, but every time I look at it, I think of Betty Davis, her eyes and everything. And inside it came with the eyelashes, which I haven't used yet. And the really pretty colors. Um, once One Bite Vanity. Um... Narcissistic and Potion. Okay, I think it's the on there. And then you've got your eye primer, um, uh, lip and cheek color pencil. And then you've got your nighttime colors, which are Fairest of the Land, Majesty, Peddler's Cloak and poison, the poison apple. Then you have liquid liner, which is starting to look kind of yucky in there. I might have to throw that out. I have not used it. And then you've got your lip, lips, lip and cheek color in the dark red. And these palettes are just really fun. Um, the next one was Malficent. And I just love their just love their makeup on these um, photos. And this one was the same. It came with a more dramatic lash. And of course I can't look at it. Anyway. The first color for the date like I guess an eve they're both look like evening looks, so the first one is Spindle Skepter or Scepter I mean <laughs> Fog of Doom and Fauna. And that one's a really pretty grayish like not really green, but it's grey green if that makes sense, and that's a really pretty color. Um then the bottom ones are Misfortune, Forest of Thorns, Deep Sleep, and Diablo. And then you have like a glittery liquid liner, which I haven't used yet. And then you've got your two lip and cheek color pencils. 
And then another favorite, Cru Cruella de Vil. I've always loved her hair. <laughs> Just, I think it would be so neat to have the two-toned hair, but I'm really liking my blonde, so I like to look at, look at it all the time on other people because I think it looks really pretty. And this one's got another set of eyelashes, more of like a softer natural flare lash. And then you've got the Day Evil, and the first color is Puppy Love. And then you've got like a bronze gold called. Oops, it's kind of dusty here. Coat of Dreams. And then you've got Cruelty, which is like a greeny gray. It's like. And it's like purple. It's like an olive gray shimmer. And then you've got Sewage, which is a. like a copper brown, dark brown. Another eyelid primer, lip and cheek color pencil. And then you've got Spotted, Maniac, Little Beast, and Extinction for the night villain. Another liquid liner and another lip and cheek color pencil. So those are all my palettes so far. And I'm wondering next time they come out with like collections like this, what their next ones are going to be. I always look forward to this. So next is my individual shadows, which I can easily put up here. So my first one is a green and light olive color eyeshadow duo and it doesn't say what color it is <laughs> I think this one's going to be really pretty for the fall so I might have to do a tutorial using this one and then I've got another light pinky mauve color and a purple color and then I have a light silver and a dark gray and they're both shimmery. All of these are shimmer. That's the only thing, other thing about ELF is a lot of their eyeshadows are all shimmery eyeshadows. Some are more dramatic than others, but sometimes they don't show up as much as they look like they do they would in a, the packaging. So I guess it's whatever you like basically, but I don't mind it as long as it's not too much glitter because my eyes are sensitive to shimmers and glitters especially in my left eye because I have astigmatism in that eye and every time I wear anything with glitter or something strong it irritates my eye and I've got this little I guess smoky eye little kit and it's got the a silver a navy dark dark midnight blue and then it's got the dark light black looks like the evening sky to me <laughs> and that doesn't have a color on it either and this one looks like it's going to be fun for the evening in the winter time and then we have the butternut shadows which I used in one of my other tutorials And then this one, can't open it, is the Nouveau Neutrals. And I can't open it, so I'll just leave it. <laughs> um, and then this one is just a neutral eyeshadow. Um, this one's called Beautiful Browns. If I can open this one. Sorry about the mess over there. That's my husband's little pile. <laughs> You've got your light brown, medium brown, um, bronze shimmer, like it's super shimmer, and then a dark, dark brown. And those are really pretty. So those are all my little individual eyeshadows.
and just put them to the side. And I only have one ELF blush. I really like their blushes, but I haven't really worn this one yet that much because I'm trying to finish the one I've had from Avon forever. What is the deal? I open it. This one is Fuchsia Fusion, which a lot of us have. I cannot open this with one hand. <laughs> anyway, it's a really pretty, like, fuchsia pink. Um, only blush, blush I have for some reason. <laughs> um, and then next I have my liners and my primers. I'm so prepared. <laughs> okay, let's see. I have my eye, my eye shadow primers, and this one is the Champagne, which is like a a brown color. Um, this would be good for the darker skin tones and tan, and like after for like your summertime. Um, and then I have this sheer, which is your, just your natural colored primer. And then I have the Pearl, which is a white primer. And their primers are pretty good. I've not used them very much, but when I have used them, it made the shadows even more vibrant than they look in the the um, palettes and everything. So they do work really well, I think. On me, they work well. And then I have... Um, this one's just a shimmer eyeliner pencil, and it comes with a little sharpener, which I haven't used yet. Um, and then I love their eyeliner pens. The only thing is, it's very easy to... Whoops, I am making such a mess here. I like the points on them. They're nice and pointy, so it's easy to make a thin line or a thicker line. The only problem is if you press too hard, the tip will go inside the pen, and then you can't get it out. Um, they, I don't think that they, they come off easy when you're ready to take them off, and but they don't move when I put them on. They don't move. They stay on where I put them until I'm ready to take them off. It's just the felt tip pen is easy to get pushed inside the pen if you're trying to test it. So I'll usually just mark on my hand real quick before applying it just to make sure it's not dried up or anything. Um, but I really like their eyeliner pens a lot. And then I have one liquid liner. And I'm not going to try to open it because I'm having issues trying to hold it with the camera with one hand and open everything with another. <laughs> um, so I got my lipsticks. I've only got two lipsticks. This is another weird thing not to have, but you all know I'm, I'm all about my Revlon matte red at the moment. And this one is rich. It's, it says Ryak Red. But all the other, I've never seen this one, but one, the one I bought, everything else is like, um, rich red. Let me see if I can this open this real quick. The Ryak Red. It's a very, very pretty red. And it's, I think this is the one I was wearing all the time before I discovered my Revlon Matte Red. And I really love this color, and it does stay on very good in a long time. It doesn't bleed or anything. I do recommend trying the Rich Red or whatever. I'm wondering if this is a mint misprint because it's the same as all the other reds on that the ELF has. But I don't know. But it's one of my favorites. And then I have the same and this one is Tea Rose. And it's just like a nude 
um, lip color. So finally, I'm just got my well. I got my eyelashes, which I haven't used yet, and they have all the different sizes. You got your natural and your vibrant ones, big flared. Your more um, I'm trying to think of the word. <laughs> I want to say they're more of a thicker lash, but they look more natural. They just look like you have more lashes. So those are the eyelashes. And then finally, I've got my brushes. What's that one? The liner. I've got this, um, <laughs> everything rolling off. I'm sitting on my bed, so that's probably why it's not sitting there. Um, this one's a professional eyeshadow brush, and this is the one I use when I'm doing my eyebrows. I put a little powder on it when I'm finished with my eyebrows, and I just set the powder over it. And the one that just rolled away is the small angled angled brush, which you could use for your liquid liner or, um, I mean, cream or gel liner. Just one time for probably one of my makeup tutorials probably just to, like to set um, inside my crease or something I can't remember <laughs> and then I have this foundation brush I'm not sure I really like foundation brushes I felt like my all my makeup went into the brush and not on my face and I do like the brush, but I think I'm going to use it for something else, maybe my blush or something like that. Or um, if I do a highlight, I'll use it just for that or something. But I just felt like all my foundation got stuck in the brush and not really applied to my face, but you can use this for something else, I think. And then my little mascara wand. Um, this one works really good. I like it a lot and I use it for my um, cake mascara. It just seemed like it was easier to apply with than the big brush that comes with the mascara. And then I have my powder brush. Um, it's okay. I mean, I think I like my Palladio brush better, but I've been using this and it, it works pretty good. It just feels like it gets dirty really quick. Like I have to wash it more often than I usually have to with my other brushes. But I'm really pleased with the ELS brushes. I think they they hold the the product on good where I'm not losing it inside the brush all the time. Um, I have the eyeshadow brush. I really love the eyeshadow brushes. And I like that they're white and like a pearly color. I think they're pretty. And this one, I think, is another, another eyeshadow brush. I get a lot of these brushes that they come with some of my little palettes that I get. So I just use them for each um, palette that I'm using. Or if I'm creating a look, I'll have more than one. That way it's easier to to apply with and having to constantly clean a brush and reuse it. I'll just have extras in there. Um, this is my um, concealer brush. I use this when I do my eyebrows. After I apply them, I just use um, the concealer on this brush to clean up the edges where some of the color may have gotten on my skin or whatever. And then I have another foundation brush. I can open um, I haven't opened it yet. <laughs> I'm also one of them people that I buy it and then it sits in the package forever. Um, I haven't tried this one and I'm, gon I'm going to try it and see if it works better than the black one that I've just showed you. I just worry about wasting product and it just getting all stuck inside the bristles. So I will have to do a review or if you've got if you've used this brush let me know how you like it as a foundation brush. And then finally my last ELF palette well product I want to say is 
my ELF brush collection. Let me see if I can get it out of the package. Get it out of the package. And I've got my my powder brush, which is another brush. They're nice and soft. They're soft, but they're not really stiff at the same time. They you don't feel like you're scratching your face or anything. They are really soft. And I have my little blush brush, which I don't know. I think this one's just a little too soft. And I feel like I can't get enough, um, I get enough product on the brush, but I feel like when I put it on my face, it just, it's so soft, I can't get it on my skin. But I haven't tried this one yet, so I'm going to have to try and let you know. I just, it just feels like it's a little too soft for my liking. Another uh, foundation brush, and then I've got my eyebrow and brush and comb a little set. I have this little smudger, and then a flat eyeliner blush uh, brush, <laughs> not blush brush. My flat eyeliner brush. I haven't used that, as you can tell. My another eyeshadow brush. Um, another concealer brush. This one looks like I need to clean that one. That's gross. And then I have this little lip pencil or lip brush, which I haven't used that either. So that is it. I hope everyone's like my collection of ELF and if you use ELF let me know how you like um, their products and what you think of them and stay tuned for my next videos. I'm going to be doing a hair, hair tutorial this week definitely and also keep an eye out for a tattoo video. I've been getting a lot of requests to do a video on my tattoos and I will see you next time. Bye!